So now Stork will be pushing back. He's going to kill this neutral um, sunken colony. That was really making him mad. He's like, dude, I don't want you to creep on my base. Anyways, um, so now he's. it looks like he's going to be throwing up an expansion. If Stork looks like he might be throwing up his natural expansion or he's just going to sit there with his probe, either one, I'm still excited about this. There we go. He does throw up the Nexus, so a quick expansion for Stork. And now the Templar Archives is going up for Bisu. So Bisu definitely up to DTs. We're going to see what he's going to be able to do with these DTs. Stork did throw up his natural already, pretty early natural. So maybe Stork, uh, maybe Bisu is going to find himself in a good situation if he can do a lot of damage to the natural or the main. It's going to be interesting to see if he is going to be able to prepare for it. So now Bisu will be throwing up a forge. So Bisu, um, he's going to get the upgrades, plus he might throw up a couple cannons in case Stork is up to uh, some DTs, but Stork is not. But that's what Bisu might be thinking at the moment. Or he's just playing it very safe. So it's going to be interesting to, to see what he does for this. And he is throwing up a robotics facility. So if he needs to get the quick observatory or he needs to get cannons out quick, it's going to be... And now BC will be throwing up his natural expansion. So BC is going to find himself a little behind economically in this game. But I feel that if he can get the quick DTs, he's going to find himself in a good situation. And this probe is going to be forced to push back, but he's going to go down short. So a little contain. Stork has a little contain on BC. So BC is going to need to play this patiently. But now, now it is. So now the DT is out and Stork is not going to have any detection on this for a second. He just doesn't have what it, he needs right now. The robotics facility is just going up while he needs to still make an observatory and then make an observer. And then as soon as he makes the observer, those, those stupid observers, before you get the speed upgrade, they, they want to like walk across the screen. They don't want to show any hustle even though all their brothers are getting killed or whatever. Anyway, so now a lot of units for Stork. Stork definitely has more units than BC, but BC is going to come in here with these two DTs, and Stork does not have an answer at all right now. He's going to go straight to the natural expansion. He's going to get pro kills at the natural expansion, and he's going to get pro kills at the bottom expansion, or at the main expansion. And now that robe, the observatory is up, or going up. So Stork, there's his face. I mean, they just zoomed in. On, they're like, this guy, Stork knows he's in trouble right now. I don't feel that he's going to be able to do a lot about this at all. He needs to get that observatory up. He's get, losing probes left and right. Bisu doing a nice job of sending a DT to the ex natural expansion and sending one to the main base, so neither can stop. Now the observatory is up, so now he will have observers out very shortly, but not before a number of probe kills. And as soon as the observer does pop out, it's going to take a while to get them where they need to be. DTs are much quicker than a slow observer is before the speed upgrade. And I'm only complaining so much about the observer speed because I'm a Protoss player, so it's kind of biased, so I apologize for that. Anyway, so now this DT will go down because the Observer is out. He will go down it, right there. He's dead right now. So now they're all in battle. So Beast is going to try to push in the front door, but he's going to be forced to... I mean, Stork is going to try to push in the front door of Bisu, but Stork's going to back off, play it very smart. Bisu definitely does not have um, and the army size he needs. I think his, those DTs were definitely effective. He got a number of probe kills, and he still has a DT in the natural expansion. But now these dragoons are moving in, and the observer's moving in. Now his, his DT, oh, wow, kind of carelessly, he's going to barely get that DT away. I think he should have ran away a lot early, but he's not even going to get that away. I felt if he would have um, read, saw that the... Um, Observer was there. He could have got that DT away and saved it. But now Stork is going to... Beast is going to be um, required to push back up his ramp and try to get Stork out of... Stork isn't... I mean... Gosh, I keep getting these players mixed up. My bad. Beast is pushing out um, Stork. So Beast is doing a nice job. Stork... Um, finding himself with a large army but not being able to do too much damage with it as, uh, as of right now. I feel that DT drop... Uh, or not the DT drop. The DT... The quick DTs was definitely effective, though. He did do a... Uh, he, I don't know exactly how many probe kills he got, but quite a few probe kills, to say the least. So this is going to... Pretty soon we're going to see an all-out battle, which will decide the game, I believe. Uh, it usually does in PvP. It's usually one big battle, then the winner of that just goes and um, dominates their base. Not always, but it's pretty common that that happens. So now Bisu will be pushing in the front door of Stork. Stork is going to find himself. He needs to be able to hold this off. He holds this off. I think he will win. Bisu knows he needs to do something. He, his, he feels his army is a little smaller than um, Stork's or whatever. So he's going to be pushing. He's going to um, go up the side ramp to the, of the second expansion of Stork and just kind of chill there. Now he's going to be pushing in. So Bisu is going to be trying to pick off this, trying to pick off goons as easy as he can. Nice micro by both players. Both players being very um, smart with their dragoons, trying not to lose them. Targeting Bisu just has Stork has many more goons, but Bisu is um, not giving up at all. And now he's going to finally push back. So now Bisu is sending more reinforcements. So Bisu might be able to do a lot of damage, but now more zealots are on the way. So Bisu is going to find himself in a decent situation. I feel if he. Can
can do pound on the front door while he throws an expansion. So he's going to be aggressive and throw up his second expansion. So very um, fundamental play right here by Bisu. Bisu trying to do he did early game harassment with DTs, and now it's going to take the economic lead because he already was behind from the natural economic lead. So now he's going to be pushing in. Bisu's going all in for this. He's going to be able to pick off these goons. Bisu has a lot of goons, and I'm going to be surprised if Stork's going to be able to hold this off. I just feel he has too many units. Probes are coming off the line. He needs. He's going to have to. He's going to have to bring probes off the line, and Stork is going to find himself in too much trouble. Bisu has just about eight goons to all of Stork's probes. So Bisu looks like he will win this game. So Bisu beats Stork. Poor Stork. I was kind of cheering for Stork. Even though I love Beast, I was kind of cheering for Stork. I just feel like he's always been like the underdog to Beast, too. It's like, it's like when you never can beat your big brother. I feel like he needs just to beat his big brother. And no, they are not related. Anyways, um, thank you guys for watching. This was Stork vs. Bisu. I'm thrilled uh, for doing this commentary. I was very excited. So thanks for watching, guys. Tell me what you think. And... Um, uh, give me replies of what games I should do in the future and stuff. So Bisu fixing his hair. So he's like, after I beat you in StarCraft, I'm going to go look good for the ladies. So anyways, I can't blame you, buddy. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. Bisu beats Stork. And um, this is Sande signing out. Thanks. Bye.